pieces of lobster are just really big and juicy. Look at that. Wow. I recommend people come here to get their lobster roll. We're Michael and Holoff. World travelers, avid scuba divers, and food lovers. <laughs> we quit our jobs in 2019 to travel the world full time. Mission success. Unfortunately, in 2020, we had to fly back home to the States due to the COVID pandemic. So, we bought a camper van, adopted a sweet German shepherd named Kana, and now the three of us continue on with our full-time travel around North America in our home on wheels. I am a witch. It's Cassie Phelps. Previously, we met up with Leanne Morana, a real witch in Salem, Massachusetts. Did I say that? Yeah, yeah would you? Okay, so. Who gave us a fascinating introduction not, to the world of witchcraft. We continued on with our van life journey into the state of Vermont. Welcome to Vermont. Where we visited the world famous Ben and Jerry's and the Dog Chapel, a small chapel celebrating the spiritual bond between dogs and humans. And of course, this. Exciting! It's tallest filing cabinet. If you really care, come on, let's go. I'll... Oh, whatever. We also visited Northern Vermont to catch up with a few good friends at their gorgeous okay. lake house. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we crossed into New Hampshire. Before finally arriving in Maine. Welcome to Maine. Thank you. Well, we're sitting here at L.L. Bean in Freeport, Maine, because that's what one does when it's like 95 to 100 degrees outside, and it's so nice and cool in here. <laughs> Sadly, there's actually a heat wave going oh. through New England, and it was awful inside the van, and we have been boondocking, and we're just sweating at night. It's just not fun. So we come to L.L. Bean for the day, and Connor really loves it. Uh, she's over on the floor right now, so. <laughs> so one of the things that we thought we would do is try something that Maine is kind of famous for, lobster rolls. Of course, lobster in general are pretty expensive, and still a delicacy here in Maine, and I thought it would be nice to get a different taste of levels of what kind of, you know, lobster rolls. Yeah, so we're gonna do insanely expensive, mildly expensive, and just expensive <laughs> and see which one actually sticks with us and then we probably have some differences or preferences i think locals actually have exactly how they want to get it prepared yeah we've even had some people walk by as we were filming this letting us know how they felt about some of the options around here. and the best part i get to eat most of it because Olive is mildly allergic to shellfish i'm gonna have a little taste because yep. that's what you do in maine yeah. bring your benadryl yes all right let's go, uh, let's go. Before we head out, we walk through the legendary L.L. Bean flagship store, which sells everything from camping supplies, hunting equipment, and apparel, including these signature L.L. Bean boots. Wow, you getting boots, Michael? No, I'm not getting anything. And they even have an aquarium. You could spend hours here exploring. They even have a cafe inside here. No lobster rolls, though. The store is huge, and this is just one out of several buildings that they will be operating. Kind of. Get lobster. Get lobster, kind of. Oh. And normally this time of year, it is packed with Canadians, eh? But this year, of course, during the pandemic, that's not happening. At least not for the next few weeks. Okay, back in the heat again. This is what it's all about. Oh, oh my God. We didn't have to go far for our first lobster roll, as it's located just right outside the flagship store. They have lots of options to choose from. So one of the things they have here is Linda Bean's Perfect Maine Lobster Roll. I'm actually from up in this area, New Brunswick next door. I've had lobster, you know, everything lobster, lobster chowder, lobster bisque. I have never had a lobster roll. So we're gonna go over here and get one, and I think they're actually $20. I do want a Perfect Maine Lobster Roll. Never had a lobster roll. 
Okay. Now, what did you say? You lived in New Brunswick, oh, Canada. Brunswick. Just right outside the LLB and Plaque store, mm -hmm. we found like a picnic area where people usually enjoy the great New England weather, except today because it's about 90 degrees now, just right before Let's 10 o'clock. Unbox the lobster roll. It's called the perfect Maine lobster roll. It looks like lobster. Tired sprinkling something on it. I don't know what it was, but almost kind of like dill. Even though it was $21, the best part about it is I'll get to eat most of it myself. I'm gonna go ahead and take a big bite of this. Oh man. That's really fresh lobster. And it comes with a bit of coleslaw and some Miss Vicky salt and vinegar chips, which are one of my favorite chips actually. So here we go. Oh, just go ahead and take a bite. It's definitely very fresh, isn't it? Yep. Oh man, the baguette is kind of crisp, crunchy on the outside. It's really good, holy moly. Now you have the perfect main lobster roll. The sad part of this is that the next lobster we're gonna try is probably not gonna be this good, but this is a darn good breakfast. Not complaining, quarter pound of lobster meat. Finger licking good. You didn't even touch the coleslaw yet. No, and I was about to offer Hollis the last bite of the lobster roll and he said give it to Kana. Screw that, that's a $20 lobster roll. Maybe I'll let her lick out the coleslaw bowl after I'm done. I love her, but she ain't getting a lobster roll. Oh my God. Screw that. It's got some weird stuff in it. Like that looks like seaweed. Except I just down the lobster roll without complimenting it with the coleslaw. It's just a side dish so you're getting something for your $20. And salt and vinegar chips. I eat most of that lobster roll myself. I feel so shellfish. Oh my God. <laughs> dinner time and we're heading out to our second restaurant the historic broad arrow tavern inside is a cozy decor that resembles a lodge however we opted to stay on the patio because we had a dog and it was cool yeah. there you go. all right thank you so much so we're at a place called the broad arrow tavern can you tell it's hot out here it's about eight o'clock at night and yes. it's still like 90 something degrees <laughs> anyway <laughs> We are here for one thing and one thing only. We are going to get their main lobster roll. And I'm gonna get it with french fries because I haven't had french fries in a while. But the lobster roll that I had earlier was uh, with mayo. So I'm gonna get it with the drawn butter this time. Apparently, according to Hollif, who's done his research, there is a big debate whether it's better with drawn butter or chilled mayo. So we're gonna get the four ounce classic, $24. And we're gonna enjoy it because even if it sucks, it's $24. And we're enjoying it regardless. The great thing about the Broadview Tavern, by the way, is that we can bring Connor with us. And she is completely content to lie down on the bricks in this 90 degree weather. There's a cool breeze coming in. Oh, you like that. <laughs> Put it a little closer so you're not stretching. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, oh that, that's yes. just the red and The lobster roll, it comes with two lobster rolls. If oh, it's it does? Okay. Yeah. I know you went to the bathroom to wash your hands, but. She brought the bread out, so I started without you. She said one of them had basil in it. So oh. I'm assuming that's basil, not mold. It's definitely basil. Yeah. Oh my God, that's really good. Yeah. That bread is better than that bread. Good. It just tastes like plain bread. Since I'm spending $24 on a lobster roll, I'm getting a beer. Yeah, it's called Maine Beer Company Lunch IPA. I don't know what that means. As usual, I love uh, unfiltered beers, so. Oh, that's a much prettier lobster roll than I had earlier today. <laughs> to be fair, the other one was more street food than anything, right? But you figure for $30, they could have put more fries in the plate. I'm just, no. I'm just saying. I know, it's kind of lame because I'm in Maine, not having anything lobster, but I have Reuben. It's supposed to be pretty good, and we are actually craving for something sauerkraut-ish. Is that a word? Yeah, yep. I think so. But this Reuben, and there you go. Horseradish. But here we go. This is different than the one I had earlier, which was made with mayo. This is drawn butter. I don't even know what drawn butter is. It's probably just melted butter. Mm. The butter is amazing. Better be good. Okay. Normally, I would have just chewed it a couple times and swallowed it, but that was so delicious it felt like it needed to be more processed. More processed. Processed. That was really good. So here we go. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Kind of like a soggiest bread, but the lobster itself is definitely good. Really? Yeah, I expect it to be crunchy. Well, I gotta try one too. 
Oh. Mm. Very chewy. That makes sense. Sorry, Mom. I'm on my second lobster roll today, Mom. You have to understand how much my mom loves lobster. I usually eat the fries first and then eat the main course. That lobster roll is really good. And I think that the reason that it wasn't as crunchy on the outside is because of the butter. Oh, yeah. probably. My Reuben. Good. Much better than the lobster roll. I can't believe I said that. Don't get me wrong. This is just a very good sandwich. That's what it is. Happy face because it is the end of the day, but tomorrow is gonna be a new day. A new lobster roll. <laughs> I'm probably lobster rolled for now. So, I'm back to LLB parking lot. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. See you in the morning. Before we leave town today, we've got to try one last lobster roll. It is at a very famous restaurant that is built inside this mansion. The company was started back in 1940 out in San Bernardino, California, and they're here now. That restaurant? is Michael. <laughs> we gotta try it, Olive. We gotta try the Mansion McDonald's. We are at McDonald's. It's true, it's a McDonald's, but it's also a historical mansion. And we're here for one reason only. Unfortunately, there's bad news. No, I have good news and I have bad news. I'm gonna give you the good news first. The good news is it was very nice and cool in there. Yeah. The bad news is they don't sell lobster rolls. Oh, but they don't? No. Why? Because they haven't had it in years, they said. That's so bad. Well, you know, when you're in a town that's famous for lobster rolls, you probably don't want to put it up against the McDonald's lobster oh, roll. That's too bad. A few tears were shed, but we have to move on. I'm so bummed that we don't get the lobster roll from McDonald's. So to make up for it, we are just stopping by here in the local's favorite pizza place. It's called De Rosier. It sells ice cream pizza. And apparently there's like a secret menu, the lobster roll. Actually, it's not quite a secret anymore. And De Rosier's has been advertising it on their menu. De Rosier's has been an important part of Freeport since 1904. And what started as a humble local grocer now has been a destination, even a legend in Freeport. Hello. Good morning. Do you have lobster rolls? Yeah, we do have lobster yeah. rolls. Yeah, could I get one? Yeah, absolutely. 1889 is it Is it really good? Um, yeah, they're delicious. All right, that'll just be a couple minutes. All right, thank you so much. She's doing kind of. She's being obsessive over a cat. Oh. Let's see how this thing looks. Ooh, we got a pickle. Oh, that's the pickle's juice is going to get all over me. Oh my god, I think that's probably the most lobster we've had. So look at that. Yeah, that's delicious. Holy moly. That's really good. And the lobster is cold. I like cold lobster a little bit better. And a sandwich at least. I like cold lobster better than warm lobster. It's really good. It's better than the one I had at um, L.O. Beans because there's not as much mayonnaise on it, just a little bit. So that's really nice. And the pieces of lobster are just really big and juicy. You know, even from here, I could smell the seafood, the lobster, the salt. At least you're gonna get the lobster itself. Look at that. Wow, it's really fresh. And it's good. got a good amount of salt and pepper on it too, which yes. is nice. I recommend people come here to get their lobster roll. First of all, it's $3 cheaper than the cheapest one we found yet. And it's perfectly fine. Really good. No. <laughs> Hands down, that was the best lobster roll that we've had so far in Freeport. And I even went inside to tell the owner that. Well, that's it for us for our Freeport, Maine lobster roll tour. For me, hands down, De Rocher's was the best. It had the perfect combination of salt, pepper, mayonnaise, and lettuce. And I like the Linda beans better because it's almost the same reason, but I like it better. Yeah, I'm reason. disappointed we didn't get to try the McDonald's, but them's the breaks. We have to get out of here. It's too hot, so we are moving on. Yes. Thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe to our channel and follow our adventures all around the United States and Canada, please hit the subscribe button. If you like what you see, give it a like. And if you want to get notifications every time we post something new, hit the bell. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you for watching. Beer of LL Beans. What do you call it? The uh, what's the name? Feel itchy already. They sell kids and baby for five dollars. Wow.